Hello guys, welcome back to DT channel. In this video today, we are going to bring you some uh, great answers uh, for the ones asking about exactly how USCIS is going to communicate with them. And I am referring to the beneficiaries because they have a lot of questions and um, in regards to uh, specifically the sponsors that sometimes they don't share uh, the receipt number with them. It's like they are not sure if the sponsors apply for them for real and uh, if they will ever receive a communication from USCIS and how this is going to be done. So uh, I want to welcome every single one of you. And if you are new to the channel, this is definitely what you need to do to get in touch or to keep in touch with us. We uh, ask you to uh, subscribe to the channel, click the subscribe button, and also uh, like the video if you find some great news, important information, things that you are looking for and you and you are able to find it in, in on our channel please go ahead and support the channel and you like the video. And of course, definitely share with uh, someone that you know this information will be definitely helpful too. So uh, guys, I believe it's important to get these uh, type of questions answered. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this video is because I have many, many folks uh, on in in uh, uh, asking me the same questions over and over, and I can understand their frustrations because um if um uh, the person who apply for you as a beneficiary from from the the beneficiary's point of view, if someone said you know what I fill up the the form one thirty four A for you like two weeks ago or I just fill it out for you and um. Uh, so you, you, the only thing that you can do now is just wait for USAS to communicate with you. Of course, I can understand that because if someone cannot prove to you, cannot give you something that can prove that they have applied for you, um, this might be concerning. The reason why is because um, I know that uh, because of the situation that uh, is happening in the four countries, uh, eligible for the program, uh, people are eager to come to the U.S. Or uh, people um, um, already have their, they already have their papers uh, pending at the U.S. embassy in the countries and nothing is happening. You know, and people also might, might be facing um, um, great challenges, sorry, and they said, I definitely have to leave this country you know, and come to the U.S., especially if they have their spouse, if they have their children are already living in the U.S., so they definitely can't wait to come. And uh, guys, what I want to remind you is that um, understand that the first the first communication that the uh, USCIS is going to have uh, in regards to your case is the receipt that is going to be sent directly to the sponsor. You as a beneficiary, you will not going to receive anything yet until you get confirmed, okay? So now it's up to the sponsor to share that information with you, to share the receipt number with you so you guys can do the, the appropriate follow-up, check your status online by going on case status, uh, uh, check the USCIS website and so you can see exactly where a USCIS is at uh, with your case. Now, once you are confirmed, beneficiaries, uh, I am talking to you guys now. Once you are confirmed, it is important that you make sure that in the meantime, you check your inbox, you check your email um, every day. I'm not going to ask you to check your email like four or 10 times a day. No, there, there is no need to. Because once you receive the email, it will it will show on your in your inbox. Okay. And also, if you have a case tracker, for example, an, an app, this is the app that um, I know people have used and I've used it myself and I believe it's pretty great because the information that you're giving is accurate and you don't need to pay for that. All right. So now, guys, a beneficiary 
once you are confirmed, you will receive an email with uh, from USCIS. Okay, so guys, I'm gonna share with you that piece of information so you can know exactly how to identify the correct email from the USCIS. Be aware of scammers and so you don't click on a link, so you don't open an email that can crash your PC, that can crash your phone and everything. So you're going to, so you can, so, so you don't get virus uh, on your computers or laptop or, or phone. D'accord? All right. And before I do that, um, if you are still listening, if you are still watching the video, that I, I believe it's because you have uh, already found great information. Therefore, uh, it is time for you to subscribe to the channel and uh and uh we are going to move on to the next step have you done that i really would like to know how many people are subscribed to the channel um because of this video so it will be a really great value and encouragement to the channel to know exactly if this video uh was helpful and how it has contributed to the expansion of the channel all right guys so now this is uh, the best time ever that we are going to spend uh, here watching the video. So guys, look at that. Okay. So you have to make sure that before you click on any email, you have to check the, 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 the email address, making sure that the email address is written properly, makes sense. Uh, because people are like, I'm telling you, they are ready to do anything to access your personal information. So therefore, be aware of that. Okay, really be careful. So guys, that's the email address that um, the USCIS is going to use to communicate with you. And that's the first email that you are going to receive from the USCIS. It will have right here the, 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 the case number. It is right here, okay? So it is hidden because it's personal information. And then you will see the name of the form that was filled out for you, which is the I-134A. And the notice is confirmation notice. All right. So the first one that the, the sponsor received after filling out the form for you was the receipt. Now this one is saying confirmation notice. All right. And look at that. Here's the email address, all right? Make sure, guys, and I, and I, and I, and I, and I'm really trying, and I try my best to make this uh, picture as a screenshot as big as possible so you guys can see with me exactly which email address that the USCIS is going to use. And this is, when whenever you see do not reply, that means there is no need to reply to that email because no one is going to receive it. It's gonna like, it because it's, it is not, it is not uh, something that it's not an email that uh, someone that that belongs to someone and and the person can open and read your email. So the only way that you can communicate back to the USAS is by going to your myusas.gov or once you are going to open it a, an account with them and after that or you can ask the sponsor to communicate with them for you on your or on your behalf. All right, so that's the first email. Now, once you are confirmed also, the second email that you're going to receive is this one. So that's the title of the email. So of course, here you are going to have your case number. That's the form that was filled out for you. And the notice is ac account acceptance notice. And you guys can see with me, that is exactly the same email address that is used by the USCIS, okay? Now, once you have asked, uh, uh, received that email, you have to go and open an account on uh on the USCIS MyGov that uh, uh, website in order to have access to all the information in in order also to do uh the 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 necessary follow up that you need to do to uh, confirm your identity and I, and I know after that you will uh continue with the next steps. I know it, it it's it's gonna be done through uh the app, the CBP one app. Guys, now I think you you have a better understanding how on how the USCIS is going to communicate with you once your case is has been confirmed. 
And also, once your case has been uh, rejected, I'm not sure. A, um, I'm, I don't believe I have uh, people uh, on this channel uh, that have been rejected. Well, no one has shared that information with me. But for now, I know that you will also receive an email uh, from the USCIS informing you about the, the status of your case. It has if, if it has been confirmed or rejected. So now, guys, once you have received uh, this notification, you will be able to create your account on my USAS.gov website. And from there, once once you have created this account, guys, which is great, because uh, you will be able to have access to the receipt, like the first receipt that the USCIS has previously shared with the sponsor. So you, you will have access to the receipt. You will also have access to uh, the confirmation notice, okay? And this is also where you will receive your travel authorization after after completing all the all the steps that you that you that are required in order for you to receive your travel authorization. Okay, so guys, I believe it was important that I share that in, that that piece of information for you because this question I I have received it over and over many times, and I'm like, yeah, definitely I have to provide you guys with that piece of information so you can also uh, make sure that um you don't click uh, that that you click uh, that you open the proper message the proper message or email uh from the right person or for, from the right institution so the uscis again is going to use that email address to confirm to uh, let you know about the status of your case let you know if you have been confirmed or rejected but i really hope that every um single one of you watching this video and uh, we'll get approved. <laughs> you know, every single one of you from all from from all four countries applying to come to the U.S. through the Biden program. I really believe. I really hope that every single one of you will get approved. So, guys, feel free to leave a comment. Let me know if you enjoyed the video. If you were able to receive a uh, 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 great information, <clears throat> very helpful information. So, let me know. Uh, and uh, like the video, definitely I encourage you to subscribe to the channel, activate the, no the, the notification bell, because if you do not activate uh, uh, the notification bell, you will never be able to uh, know exactly uh, when a new video is out, out there. So go ahead and do that. And uh, let me know if you have any questions and I can, and, and I will do my best to end, to answer them for you. So guys, this is where uh this is where where I'm putting an end uh uh with this video. I really hope that you enjoy the time and uh, take care of yourself. God bless you all. I will see you next time on my next uh, video. Bye bye.